So this is how to um, prepare for the BST. So at the club, there's going to be, the clubs are going to have a piece of plywood for the dog to stand on so that the dog can be uh, properly measured, right? right? And so, because some dogs, you know, they if they're borderline on oversize or undersize, it's to be fair for this dog to make, because the dogs have to be within FCI standard, they, um, you need plywood or a hard surface for the dog to stand on. So the first thing that the judge is going to want to do for the BST is he's going to want to see the teeth. So Lisa's going to show you how she shows the bite. So again, she picks up under the collar. Her tongue, see how she's holding the, her hands? I'm going to go right in here. So she's got a, her thumb under there, okay? Two fingers and the other thumb on top, she lifts the lips. Then she'll open the mouth. And give them lots of food while you're practicing. Yeah, it, at the test they don't allow food. You can only use toy. Right? So Sterling is the judge. Okay, and then you'll want to see the, the mouth. So I use the word open, so he looks in there. Okay, excellent. Now next is the judge is going to take the skull measuring cap and he's going to measure the, the skull. So it's really good to have trained your dog. So the Sterling, the judge is always going to go inside to the side to the dog, not in front. So the baiter, if there was a baiter here, you would you would have the toy, okay? So if a dog can only think of one thing at one time, so if you have a high drive dog or a dog that's not very friendly to people, the double handler is so important, has to have that toy right on that dog so the dog is focused on that toy and he doesn't notice being touched or measured, okay? I've had a couple dogs like that where they got through the measuring because it, always remember dogs can only focus on one thing, get that dog in that toy, right? And so then, so if you had a squeaky toy, it would work better. You know that blue ball that squeaks? No, she likes her favorite toy. This is yeah. not too much. Okay, so that's how they measure. And then um, he's going to take that green tape and he'll go around her muzzle. Because it'll be a measuring tape, we don't have one here. Okay. They, they measure the muzzle like that, okay. Now he's going to put um, an eye chart on her to check eye color. Mark. And, and he puts it right beside, and that's where he can see what eye color is, okay? Now he's going to, so Lisa, this dog's trained, so it knows what stand means, and it also needs mark, and so the dog's learn to focus off of her. Mm -hmm. The average dog doing this test doesn't know what mark is or stuff, so you want might want to start teaching stand or, or work with the, a second handler to, to, you know, to teach the dog. Because if your dog's not prepared, you're not going to get good results. Mm -hmm. So you have to prepare your dog. Okay, so now the dog has to stand, and you want the dog to stand square and to stand tall. So that's pretty good. So that's where the shoulders are measured, and then the side of the dog. Some dogs don't like objects placed beside mm -hmm. against them, mm -hmm. so you have to prepare the dog. Okay. And then, Sterling, you'll take the sewing tape, and it'll go around the belly. So with males, it's some males don't like this. A lot of females don't like this. This dog's, um, Lisa shows in CKC also, so it's a lot more prepared than the oh, average yeah. I've dog. Never done CKC. Haven't you? Just she works on stand, okay. She's been working on stand for this. Oh, right, I was thinking it was fire. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But so this dog's really solid on stand, so it really makes it easy. Now she doesn't want to sit anymore. Yeah, but that's fine. For the show, you want your dog to stand. Always stand. Very nice stand. Okay, so do it this time. You're going to hold it up and just toss it over. Yes. Okay. So that's so that's how the dog is measured. Uh, 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 uh. Come here. Stand. And then what's happened is. Okay, show it. Oh, okay. 
Um, then what's happening, the judge is going to want to see the movement. So Lisa's going to take this dog. Can I show it to her? I'm just going to reward her for this. Okay. And she's going to run her around the ring. Because then the judge wants to see the movement. Oh yeah, they also have to show pre drive. I don't think I'll have that. Right. Okay. Yeah, part of the test is the, the um, we don't want to see the dogs just standing there. The judge wants to see that the dog has a minimum pre drive. Like the dog's supposed to be a working dog, right? Some Rottweilers, because the breeders don't breed for working, mm -hmm. some dogs have no prey. They're, they're, they and just, we won't have all these toys in the middle of the ring. They're just not interested in toy. So this is how she moves the dog. Ready? Ready? Up. And this is where the judge will be looking at the movement and he'll be evaluating. So see, it started to go into a gallop, so she slowed down a little bit. Mm -hmm. See how she uses the ring? So if there's a dog in front of you who's slow, when the judge isn't watching, you go slower. So when the judge turns his attention on you, you can move your dog at your speed where your dog looks the best. So really use the ring. And then this. And that's it. That's all there is to the BST. Oh, now the group. Okay. So now they'll do a temperament test. So you guys line up with the rocks. Okay, so Lisa, you guys are going to line up. You need more people? No, on both sides. Because she's going to walk between you guys. And Sterling, yeah. And Sterling's going to shake that, um, those rocks when she goes through. Okay. So move closer because it's supposed to, no in yeah closer. You're making you're making our. She's got to come right down the middle. Okay. Okay, go. Yeah. Normally we would need a lot more people, but this is all we have here. So. Okay. So, as she starts to come, Sterling's going to um, make sound with that rock. Okay. So now she's going to turn around and go the other way. So the dog can't show any fear. They want a self-confident dog. Now she's going to sit the dog. Okay. Right. The judges sometimes do this. Right. Nothing. No, not scared. Come on. So now Lisa's going to sit the dog. And everybody's going to come in a circle around the dog. Okay, now everybody's going to crowd in, crowd into the dog, and the dog can't bite anyone. Go right into the dog. Don't bite they make the they make the people close, right in, s closer. They make you go right close to this dog. Okay, like this, like right on the dog's. Super. Yeah, he's gonna. She's gonna bite my camera. Okay, then we move out. Looks like a toy. And now everybody's going to stomp their feet in Russian. And Russian? Okay. Yeah, so she'll feed her. So let's do that again. And this is how you neutralize the dog. Right? Okay, so this time she's going to feed her and you guys do that again. See? So the dog's learning. Oh, this is okay. This is cool. Good job. <laughs> Good job, crowd. Good job. And that's it? That's it. You